If you want to avoid dry conversations, I have the best starters for you. So first and foremost, when you get to know a person, or you're talking to a person, you got to get to know them. You know what I mean? You got to communicate some sort of plan, some type of goal. This can go for texting or in person. All right. By the way, texting is not a primary source of communication. Texting is used to set up things. It is logistical. It is practical. You shouldn't be trying to make somebody like you through text. You understand what I'm saying? But like I said, these uh, conversation starters can help you with text or in person. So first and foremost, you want to learn about this person. Ask them about them. People like to talk about themselves. And if they don't, they really do. So ask them about them, where they're from, get to know their family, get to know all these things because it will help you start more conversations. So if you ask a girl, you know, let's say, um, where did she go to school, right? And she said, oh, I went to River Ridge High. you like, River Ridge High? I heard there was some crazy stuff going on around, even if you don't know about River Ridge High. It's playful teasing. Teasing, it works. But you don't want to make them feel uncomfortable. You don't want to offend them. Like, I heard everyone from River Ridge High is a slut. Are you a slut? That's crazy. You understand what I'm saying? So just ask them about them. Find ways to make conversation, you know, as they talk about themselves, whether they talk about their family, whether they talk about where they're from, things like that, what they like to do, all that good stuff, right? Now, moving on to like the next area, which is kind of the same, but ask them about things they've always wanted to do that they never done. Or if they had a day to do three things or go to three places they wanted to uh, go to or experience, uh, where would they go? What would they do? These things can help you not only learn about who they are, but learn how you can move in the future when you're planning dates, when you're planning trips, when you're doing these things. If y'all make it to that point, if not, it just gives you something to talk about. Maybe y'all might have a place or a thing that y'all both want to do. Y'all might find a common interest, you know, in talking about things that y'all want to do or places y'all want to go. Y'all both might have a dream to go to Hawaii. Y'all can, you know, get together, build yourselves up, save up some money as y'all get older. Y'all might go on a trip to Hawaii. You know what I'm saying? So find out what they like. Find out where they want to go. Find out their interests. Simply. Now, one of my very favorites, and I'll tell you how I use this, right? I always ask about love language. How do you like to be loved? Is it touch? Is it the affirmations? What do you want? Because not only will you be able to provide those things and make them feel loved in the way they like to be loved, but it lets you, it also lets you know their boundaries. Some people don't like to be touched like that until they get to a certain level of people. So if you come off the wrong way and touch somebody, you know, without knowing that they don't really, you know, they're very sensitive to touch. They're hard to pet. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can avoid that. But what I like to do is like, yo, what's, what's your love language? And they usually say, oh, words of affirmation, quality time, you know, that type of thing. And I kind of postpone mine. You know, or maybe I'll throw mine out there first, but I will always say, you know, mine is quality time and physical touch. I'm heavy on touch. You know what I'm saying? And then this is why I sprinkle in my little sauce. Usually I do this once I know the girl is interested and, you know, I got it to that point. I usually be like, man, if I like you, I act like a baby around you. I, I can't stop touching you. And I can immediately see them going into their brain and remembering how I just sit there and just play with their fingers like just rub their skin like I, I used to rub all up under my girl neck like i was a baby and when i told her the first the same thing for the first time she like got out because <laughs> she knew like i could not stop touching that girl and you know that sounds crazy but <laughs> anyways <clears throat> i'm a very touchy person you know I, I know my limits though i don't just walk around like <laughs> let me touch you you know what I'm saying? Make sure you're comfortable. Make sure, you know, those things are, you know, good before we get into all that. Right. So physical touch. I mean, love language, love language. That's the conversation topic. That's the start of what's your love language. How do you like to be loved? You know what? What sets you off? Right. What turns you on? Huh? Anyways, next conversation starter, food, drinks, snacks. This is a cheat code. When I first started talking to this little lady one time, I, I, I got her favorite meals, her um, favorite drinks, favorite snacks. I got all those things down and I read them, wrote, damn, I wrote them down. 
okay? I wrote them down and I tucked them away because I didn't want to, you know, just come off like, hey, here's everything you want. That's not even the point I'm making. But I wrote all these things down so when I ran out of not necessarily gift ideas, but when I just wanted to do something special, do something sentimental, I always had something to look back on, right? So I remember, you know, in April, met this girl, asked her what was her favorite chocolate. She said Hershey's. So she was kind of, you know, dieting and stuff like that, going to the gym a lot. So like, like four months later, one day I just randomly showed up with a Hershey's. And she's like, oh, my gosh, how, how, how did you know I look? And I was like, you know, I was just drawn to it. I just, I know you. <laughs> Anyways, you know what I'm saying? Find out what their favorite foods, what their favorite drinks are, because this also sets up future date ideas. This also sets up those future sentimental moments to where you don't have to think too much. Hey, what do you like to eat? All this. It gets all that out the way. So, you know what I'm saying? Get those things down. Y'all might share a common interest with food, snacks, a favorite restaurant you never really know. So just ask. Really what the point of this video is, is just find out things. The best conversation starters are curiosity. You know what I'm saying? They come in the form of curiosity questions, right? And you could, you could go deep with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, um... What do you think happens after we die? Are you afraid of death? I wouldn't start with I'm afraid of death until she's comfortable because that sounds like you're getting ready to kill her. Like imagine meeting a girl and the first thing you say is, are you afraid to die? I'm going to be like, um, yeah. Are you going to kill me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't come off like that. So. You know, you could just say like, um, y'all could get on biggest fears. That's another one. You could talk about biggest fears, and then you could you you could use mine, right? And say, well, I kind of overcame this lately, but uh, when I was growing up, I was afraid of dying because I, I mean, I just couldn't fathom what happens. Like I know with sleep, you you have dreams and things like this, but it's like you never remember falling asleep. You only remember waking up. So when you die, is it just blackout, like sleep? Do you have dreams? Do you roam the earth as a spirit? Or is it just nothingness? What is it? And, you know, you ask them what they think about it. All, all those things, man. Really um, dive into yourself. What are things you're curious about? Just ask them for their opinions and things like that. And, you know, the more you become closer to a person, the less you have to try to find out. And, you know, you don't really have to have conversation starters because it gets to the point to where, you know, y'all just a part of each other's lives. Like some days when I used to go by my girl when we were together, like we wouldn't even talk like that. We sat on the floor for like five hours. I played in her hair. I brushed her hair, scratched her scalp. She rubbed my back. And I don't even think we said a word to each other for like five hours. We just look up and laugh at each other every, you know, few minutes. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, like, don't put too much stress on it. But simply, you know, simply just simplifying it all. Conversation starters are essentially just talking points. There are gateways for you to get to know a person to where you don't have to rely on these things. Because think about it. Do you need a conversation starter for your mom? Do you need a conversation starter for your brother? It's just like, hey, bro, come, come here, dude. Come here. You know what I'm saying? So. Just get those things, fill them out, learn who they are. And one thing, I, I must say this before I leave. You're not going to be compatible with everybody. Some people are just boring. And I don't mean boring in the sense of low quality. Some people just don't have that energy for you, right? Like, I, I can talk, right? But I love to listen. If you never open up, you never talk, you just shallow, you don't really have nothing to talk about, you talk about nothing or you always complain, I'm not going to be around you long. You know what I'm saying? And if you're a person who can't shut up and you never let me speak and every time I speak, you try to cut me off and try to finish my sentences when my sentences, sentences were nowhere near where the hell you going, I'm not going to want to be around you long. If it's someone who just talks about, you know, we, we are all compatible with certain people. So I stress this, man, if you like somebody, you know, if it doesn't work out, if the conversation's not good, it's cool, my dude. It's cool. Sis, 
You know what I'm saying? Life goes on and you'll be fine. Okay? So if that doesn't help you, um, I'm going to still find a way to help you. <laughs> but yeah, man, y'all can uh, comment, you know, what's going on in y'all lives. I can comment scenarios y'all may need help with, um, what kind of problems you may be facing while conversating and things like that. And, um, you know what I'm saying? I can, I can help you out to the best of my ability on that, too. But, uh, yeah, man, it's simply just you getting to know people. That's all it is, communicating a certain um, feeling, a certain interest, a certain goal. That's all it is. So just get to know them, my friend. Every conversation is not going to be suave, like, mm -hmm, yeah. How are you doing, my beloved? She's like, oh, I'm doing fine. You're like, oh, how lovely it is for you to be so fine. Would you like for me to take you out and show you the world? Like, bro, life is a movie, but it's not those. Okay? Chill out. Get to know the person. And you'll be fine. Okay? And also know when to leave. Like, if the conversation goes dead, leave. Go do something, for God's sake. And you don't have to say, oh, I'm going now. You can preface that because some people need that. Like, yo, I'm a, let, me, let me get this knocked out real quick. I'll hit you back. But most of the time, I just go away because why do I have to announce that I'm busy? I'm not glued to my phone all day. Anyways, I'm yapping now. Um, I'm about to get up and go to the side hustle. So uh, y'all take it easy, man. Love you always. Thanks for listening. I hope I helped you. And I'm out of here.